Safety Margins Vehicle Control Part 1 This video covers Stopping Distances Thinking Distances Braking Distances Yoo-hoo, Ben! Hey PT! I understand you've been having some problems remembering your stopping distances. Yes, there are just so many numbers to remember. OK, I might have a solution. Before we go over that, do you know what stopping distances are and what they are made up of? The stopping distance is the distance your vehicle takes to stop from when you think about braking and react to it. So it's made up of thinking distance and braking distance. It's just the distances I have trouble remembering. Very good, OK. So, on to the distances. Firstly, you need to remember the speed limits you could see whilst out on the road. 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 and 70 miles per hour. OK. Let's start with 20 miles per hour. If you times 20 by 2, you get 40. The stopping distance at 20 miles per hour is therefore 40 feet. That's almost the height of two houses or three car lengths. Wow! That's quite far, if you're only travelling at 20 miles per hour. Yes, it is quite a distance, which is why you always need to keep a safe gap from the vehicle in front. OK, that seems simple enough. So would 30 miles per hour be 60 feet then? Unfortunately, it's not quite that simple, but it's not too much harder. For each extra 10 miles per hour, you need to add 0.5 to the number you times the miles per hour by. For example, 20 miles per hour is 20 times 2 equals 40. 30 miles per hour is 30 times 2.5 equals 75. 40 miles per hour is 40 times 3 equals 120. 50 miles per hour is 50 times 3.5 equals 175. 60 miles per hour is 60 times 4 equals 240. 70 miles per hour is 70 times 4.5 equals 315. So we times 20 by 2 and get 40, which means we need to times 30 by 2.5, which gives us 75. 30 times 2.5 equals 75. Therefore the stopping distance at 30 miles per hour is 75 feet. OK, so you just add 0 0.5 for every extra 10 miles per hour? That's correct. 20 times 2 30 times 2.5, 40 times 3, 50 times 3.5, 60 times 4, 70 times 4.5. If you don't want to sit there going through each mile per hour, you can quickly work out the number you need to times it by. Take the first digit of the miles per hour. So for 60 miles per hour, it would be... 6? Yes, and now divide it by 2. 3? Now add 1. 4. So 60 times 4 is, um, 60 plus 60 is 120. 120 plus 60 equals 180. 180 plus 60 equals 240. 240! So the stopping distance for 60 miles per hour is 240 feet? Excellent. So what about 40 miles per hour? OK. So 4 divided by 2 is 2, plus 1 equals 3. 3 times 40 equals 120. 120 feet! Yes, you've got it. Bear in mind though that these are typical stopping distances in good dry weather. Everyone will have slightly different reaction times. Stopping distances will be longer in wet or icy weather. OK, so how does the stopping distance break down into thinking and braking distance? Here you go, this might help. Stopping distance chart. I thought the stopping distance for 40 miles per hour was 120 feet, not 118 feet. These are typical stopping distances. Like I mentioned earlier, Everyone has slightly different reaction times, so the chart gives you a rough idea. So you can see the thinking distance increases by 3 metres for every 10 miles per hour faster you are travelling. That's around 10 feet. So if you can work out the stopping distance, 
and remember that when travelling at 20 miles per hour, the thinking distance is 20 feet, you can then work out the braking distance by taking the thinking distance from the stopping distance. I think we best recap. Stopping distances. Distance your vehicle takes to stop from when you think about braking and react to it. 20 miles per hour is 20 times 2 equals 40 feet. 30 miles per hour is 30 times 2.5 equals 75 feet. 40 miles per hour is 40 times 3 equals 120 feet. 50 miles per hour is 50 times 3.5 equals 175 feet. 60 miles per hour is 60 times 4 equals 240 feet. 70 miles per hour is 70 times 4.5 equals 315 feet. Don't forget, just add 0.5 for every extra 10 miles per hour of speed. Another way to work out stopping distances, take the first digit of the miles per hour. 60 miles per hour would be 6. Divide it by 2 equals 3. Add 1 equals 4. So 60 times 4 equals 240. 40 miles per hour would be 4. Divide it by 2 equals 2. Add 1 equals 3. So 40 times 3 equals 120. Thinking distance increases by 3 meters for every 10 miles per hour faster you are traveling. That's around 10 feet. If you can work out the stopping distance and remember that when traveling at 20 miles per hour the thinking distance is 20 feet, you can then work out the braking distance by taking the thinking distance from the stopping distance.